Here on the trail, a man accused of raping and sexually assaulting several joggers and bikers is behind bars in Portage County. Yeah, take a look. Police arrested 37 year old Sean Wendling on his way to work this morning. News 5's Taylor DeHayes was at the news conference today and has the latest from Portage County. Now I spoke with the attorney general's office earlier today and they say a DNA sampling linked to a relative is really what led them to cracking this case. On this trail, Berlin hike and bike, a woman was stopped, robbed and grabbed. In August, on the same Portage County Trail, it happened again. Warning signs went up, don't walk or ride alone. Just last weekend, another assault just outside of a park near Youngstown. Today in a news conference, the AG's office says they were able to match DNA from a family member to Wendling fast. From the time we received the DNA testing results, to the time of arrest was only about 14 hours. That shows the dedication of everyone involved in this case. If you would not have found the DNA sampling from a relative, would you still be out there looking for the suspect? I believe so, yes. Wendling is also suspected in an assault and an attack in Stark County. Portage County Sheriff Dave Doak says all victims and their families have been notified of the arrest. These type of attacks are um, emotional homicide for victims. Once again, the collaboration in this case was amazing. Right now, Wendling is in the Portage County Jail. Now, right now, Wendling is only charged with one count of rape, but officials say there could be more to come. In Portage County, Taylor DeHayes, News 5.